got him. What a great start for Kyrie Cheney. Basically off the face of the blade of Mark Boucher, who had a good night the other night. Bit of shock in the stands, but uh, that's an important wicket. Very important wicket. Uh, tape, no tape. Uh, Mackay and Tini runs it up, runs up, gets it. That's the end of that. And of course, uh, that's what he's paid to do, and that's what he's done pretty well uh, over the years for South Africa. Really thick edge there, always vulnerable in that area. Tends to try to run the ball to third man whenever he can't smash it down the ground. There's the reaction of Ntini, and why wouldn't he have a smile on his face? It's a big wicket. Sri Lankans uh, are 45 for two. Side edge, Atu Patu, good bowling, two in at him, cramped him up, little bit of width, got him playing away from the body, well bowled. Certainly was, and I thought the other night he bowled really well, and, and thankfully turned around and asked for the appeal to get pinged by Clive Lloyd, but a good delivery, good seam, he ran in, outside edge, and a nice catch there at Boucher, and, and he knows he's got an egg, and then he realised, oh, I better turn around, and he appeals, well done Makaya, that's his third wicket, so the, the dangerous Marvin Atapata goes, the, sk the skipper goes for 26, and Sri Lanka 69 for 3. Yeah! Oh, he's got him, outside edge is that? Yes, it is. Well, what a turnaround this has been, what a wonderful spell of bowling from these two. Really has. They bowled in tandem. They've each got a haven't gone for a run or hardly a run. Beautiful seam position, bounce, forward defensive, comfortable catch to Boucher. Good cricket from the South Africans. Well, it's a nice time he's been so the dangerous Jay Wadden up. He goes for a duck off 12 balls in Sri Lanka. Well, 72 for four.